dear friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine i am fine too i thank god welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber god bless you for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate much but if it is your first time here on my channel please please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you always enjoy every content that i upload on this channel so dear friends in our today's video i am going to be sharing with you a eh, story time <laughs> of a Zambian lady in her 50s, a single mother of two, and a widow who found love on online dating apps with a British guy, a guy from the UK. So guys, I've been getting lots of your comments on the comment section here on YouTube. Some of you follow me on Instagram, some of you on Facebook, and the most frequently asked question that you guys ask me is, Bella, can I find love in my 30s? Some of you are in your 40s. Bella, can I find love on online dating apps in my 40s? Bella, can I find love on online dating apps in my 50s? Am I not too old? <laughs> so I've been responding to you like, no, don't worry. You know, age is just a number. You can find love at any age. But when I respond to you that, I know you always be like, ah, this Bella is just responding to us just to give us hope. And I remember one time sitting here telling you that I am so realistic. Yes, if I know something will not work, I'm not going to waste my time on it. So if I know that you are in your 60s, you are in your 50s, you are in your 40s, you can't find love on online dating apps. I am not going to tell you or encourage you that, yes, you will find love at your age. I can't tell you that because I know you'll keep being here, you'll keep searching, and eventually, after lots of years, if you don't find, you will be disappointed in me and be like, why is that she encouraged me? <laughs> But stories like Moape's, her name is Moape, is a vivid example that it is possible. She is a living testimony. <laughs> and another thing that I would like you guys to know is that Moape is my client, is my own baby. <laughs> yes, she is in her 50s, but is my own baby because I've been with her through her whole journey of searching for love on online dating apps. And I'm going to take you through, you know, when she started till when she found the one. And attention guys, something else you need to know is that this is not a detailed love story of Mwape. I am going to be coming with her detailed <laughs> love story for you guys so that you can learn. So Mwape found love on online dating apps and I have been sharing her update on Instagram, on my Instagram stories. Also one time the boyfriend wrote to me, I updated you guys. And today I am putting down everything together so that you get to understand better this love story trust me guys you are going to be learning a lot from her story and also guys i had not planned to share her love story that is why i told you i will be coming with a detailed love story of Mwape. but i decided to share this with you everything so far is so good and it is a success story. So I requested her to give you a word of encouragement. You beautiful ladies that are still on online dating apps searching for love. So she wrote down all her advice to you. And when I went through it all, I was like, wow, I can't share this only on Instagram. No, no, no. I have to share this on YouTube so that you all can learn from that advice so that you all can benefit from it. Without forgetting, guys, I will share with you the dating app where Moape met that British guy. The one. <laughs> 
So guys, when I started this video, I told you that Moape is a single mother of two and a widow in her 50s. Just a little bit of Moape's life background. We will get to know more about Moape when I share her detailed online dating success love story. But for today, let us enjoy just a little bit <laughs> of that. So guys, Mwape tells us was happily married. Then one day, something very terrible, something that changed her life completely happened to her husband. Her husband got poisoned by people, you know these politics, staffs yes so that's how Mwape lost her beloved husband may his soul keep resting in peace and then yes guys Mwape became a widow and a single mother of two kids both are boys so guys after Mwape losing her husband had thought maybe that was the worst thing you know that can happen in her life but it was not over yet because the family of the husband, you know, the husband's side came after her due to the properties. So there was a very big fight. Mwape went through hell. This lady suffered very, very much. And these are very common things in Africa. I have heard a situation like this before, whereby someone loses the husband and then the family of the husband come to take everything that that man had. And those things we all know, they are for the sons and the wife, but they don't care at all about that. They take everything from the lady and they leave the wife and the kids in the streets. Yes, some families can be so broken. Some people can be really, really cruel, inhuman. Yeah, so Mwape went through all that, but she's such a strong woman. Yes, as we continue, you are going to be finding out why I am saying all this about Mwape. So with the whole experience, the hell that Mwape went through with the family of the husband after losing her husband, Mwape was like me with black men. I am done, 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 done. I don't want to ever be in a situation that I went through. Through. So days passed, years passed, and you know they say that time heals. So Mwape decided to move on because she believed that even where her late husband is, will be happy for her to move on. So she thought it was a good thing, a right thing for her to move on with her life find someone to be by her side that is when Mwape decided to join online dating apps so after joining online dating apps <laughs> was there for two months but faced loads of challenges yes she is in her 50s but oh my god the things that she went through on online dating apps within those two months it was too much i was like no i think i need help so came across my youtube videos on youtube <laughs> just like you guys how you discovered me on youtube yeah so Mwape discovered me on youtube and <laughs> reached me out on Instagram. I remember after her first message, she also sent her photo so that I can see whom I am chatting with. <laughs> yeah, I will put our first conversation here so that you can see it. And after that, she had to tell me a bit of her life background, what I have told you already, her situation of being a widow and a single mother of two. So we talked and I advised her a bit <laughs> as we kept on like chatting whenever she could come back to me. I saw that it was getting like too much. I have to spend like lots of time chatting with her, you know, helping her out. That is when I suggested she pays the fee so that I get to concentrate on her situation. And she didn't say no. She was like, Bella, it's okay. I am ready because I really need help. So before I continue, <laughs> I want to talk about this fee 
thing. I've seen lots, lots of ladies. You come to me with your stories. And when I tell you about the fee, you ask me, is it for connection? And when I tell you, no, it's not for connection. <laughs> you disappear or you start being like Bella no you know I'm not okay right now I'm not financially stable but still you want me to spend my time on you which is really really unfair also if you guys remember Malia's story Malia was my client is still my client she is my little sister <laughs> yeah because I love her so so much so I was guiding Malia Till she found the one. I'll put her photo here for some of you who didn't see her love story. It is on African Bella Storytimes channel. Next year, guys, I'm coming back on that channel because right now I saw that I've got lots of things on my table and I can't concentrate like posting here, posting there. And here we've got lots of people. That's why I'm posting here. So we continue with Malia. So when Malia shared her story, told you guys that she paid the fee. And most of you followed her on her channel, on Instagram, to ask her lots of questions. <laughs> And some of you, the way you took the fee paying, it's like when you pay, then I perform magic. You find the one. <laughs> no, guys, I'm not performing any magic. I just guide you through the right way. And sometimes when you are on online dating apps, you need someone to talk to. Someone who is really experienced <laughs> so that you don't fall in the hands of scammers you don't fall in the hands of a wrong guy and guys this is the truth i've been hearing this a lot from my clients especially those who have succeeded already <laughs> after succeeding they be like oh my god bella the fee that i paid compared to how you have been helping me it's nothing <laughs> But also those who paid the fee and still you haven't succeeded, don't worry. We all know that everyone's journey is different. So maybe now it's Malia, now it's Mwape. We have another one coming of Hawa from Tanzania. We have another one of Mwende from Zambia. Lots of success stories, guys, of my own babies, my own clients. Yeah, so don't worry. Just keep on searching and I am here to guide you every time you need me i am here so you who was considering maybe to pay for the fee i really want to make this clear it's not for connection guys i don't do connection yes i do match making which you have seen everything is transparent you know i told you when i started and i posted videos you supported me thank you so much guys but i don't have a group of men single men ready to connect you to i am here only to give you advice to give you guidance that's it okay so even malia i helped her to find love on online dating apps by advising her guys when you are on online dating apps you can find yourself in a situation where you don't know what to do that is when bella comes in so let me continue with Mwape's story and you will also keep on like understanding better how i work so yes guys when Mwape paid for the fee i started guiding her through and whenever she could find a guy could come and update me <laughs> yeah she kept on updating me on the guys that she came across on online dating apps and they are chatting could tell me what they are chatting about and could hear my own opinion but also if you remember recently i did a video and i said that Whenever I do these online dating videos, the advice, the story times, I am 100% sure that I am talking to intelligent women. Yeah, because for example, Mwape, yes, paid for the fee, wanted my help, but still, Mwape knew what she wanted. Mwape knew what she was searching for on online dating apps. Because guys, I still remember when I was guiding her through, she was chatting with a guy at some point. 
and everything was going on very very well <laughs> you know if we have been working together or if you have been on online dating apps <laughs> sometimes you find a guy you chat and you think maybe he is the one <laughs> yeah <laughs> this has reminded me there is another lady a south african lady who found love on online dating apps and eventually when she found the one <laughs> came to me to tell me you know about the guy because at first found a guy and was preparing to share her success love story <laughs> then it became a failure so when she came to tell me about the one who is her fiance now because he proposed <laughs> I was confused. I had to ask, girl, this one, where is he from now? <laughs> because I have heard many coming from different countries. Today you come with a story and you think he is the one. He is from Germany. Tomorrow is Norwegian. <laughs> the next day is a Dutch guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's like that, guys. When you are on online dating apps, you guys that are online, you can totally understand this situation. <laughs> so, yes, guys, Mwape kept on coming, you know, with stories, chatting with different guys. And yes, there was a time when she was chatting with a guy, all was good. But came a problem whereby this guy had lots of loans. I told you, Mwape is a strong woman, is a fighter. Being left with two kids to take care of, and she managed to take care of those kids. They are now at the university studying in India. Oh my God, she is a super woman. So guys, Mwape was like, Bella, I am not ready to be with a man full of loans. I am a fighter and in my life, I don't have any loan. So why should I put myself in a relationship with a guy who has got a burden of loans on his back? What do we learn from Mwape? We see Mwape is in her 50s, is a widow and is a single mother of two. But is this lady desperate? Not at all. She knows what she wants. I'm talking to you, dear beautiful ladies, in your 20s, in your 30s, you know, in your 50s, in your 40s, who are there entertaining losers on online dating apps. You just be like, let me be with him. You know, he is the one giving me attention. No, I told you guys, when you are with a guy, you should be fully happy. So if you see something in a guy you are chatting to on online dating apps and it is off, it is not what you plan for your future, better leave that guy. He is not the only existing guy on that dating app or in the world. <laughs> the world is full of single men searching. So one day you will find that right guy who matches you. Please, please, let us stop being desperate and blaming the age. Bella, I am old. I think I should just find anyone to settle down with. No, not you who always watches my videos. Please, please. <laughs> we want that quality guy. A guy that will treat you right just the way you deserve to be treated. So yes, guys, I kept on guiding Mwape and she kept on standing on her crowns, standing on what she wants. So whenever she could come across a guy and finds out it's not what she is searching for, could immediately end it. She couldn't wait for me to tell her, no, this one stop, no. She knew where to put a full stop. So let us learn from her because this will help us find love find that quality guy on online dating apps. Another thing with the loans, you know, one time there is one of my subscribers who asked me to do a video about prenup agreement. I will still do that video. Please, please keep on waiting. But you know, with a prenup agreement, that's the agreement that you sign before you get married about the properties that you have you as a woman and the guy you know what he has you have to decide in case of the divorce when you guys get married what will happen to your properties do you guys want a community of properties 
whereby when you guys separate, it is 50-50. The properties are divided into half, 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 or you want a separation of properties, meaning when you divorce, everyone leaves as they entered into that marriage yeah so the guy remains with his properties and you remain with yours if you did not come with anything then you leave with nothing <laughs> so you have to sign the agreement before you guys get married so we take an example you sign a community of properties whereby when you guys divorce it is 50 50 so if this guy that married you that you signed the community of properties together had loans and for example he did not pay any insurance on those loans in case of anything maybe you guys get married but you know anything can happen god calls your husband before you girl you are going to be the one responsible to pay for those loans yeah you need to know this so i agree with mwape to refuse to be in a relationship with a guy full of loans also guys another situation that can happen it cannot be even a divorce some guys they find themselves having lots of loans and they want someone to help them pay their loans yes they get married to you then you start working he tells you for me my money i am going to be paying for the loans you take care of the family <laughs> Imagine guys, it's not a healthy relationship, it's not a healthy marriage to find yourself in, really. And attention, don't start quoting me wrong. <laughs> start asking guys online, do you have loans? <laughs> you will be blocked. <laughs> there is a way you can talk to a guy to find out, you know. And I also help Tumwape to find out about this. So there is a way you can talk to a guy and then he opens up about the loans. I am going to lie to you if I sit down here and tell you that all people in Europe, they don't have loans. But if a guy has got loans, they should be reasonable loans. <laughs> Loans that he is capable of paying and his life can keep on moving smoothly. He pays for that loan, he pays for the bill, and if he gets married, he also takes care of you. If he can handle all that, then we don't have a problem. But guys that are there loaded with loans, oh my God. It is going to be a very, very big challenge for you guys and it is going to be a source of your fights if you eventually get married to that guy so let us be careful i hope on this you have understood me let me keep on giving you Mwape's story so that you keep on picking out you know some tips to help you on your online dating journey so yes guys when Mwape paid for the fee and i started guiding her she kept on facing challenges yeah on online dating apps only that the good thing i was by her side whenever she could face challenges could immediately run to me but that did not stop Mwape from being frustrated <laughs> Guys, the struggle is real, yeah. So Mape came to me and I was like, Bella, oh my God, I feel like giving up though. <laughs> I'm not finding what I want. I'm going to take a break, I think. I told her it's okay. You know, a break is needed, yeah. So guys, I don't perform magic. I don't. I just offer you this up. Hot. the guidance <laughs> yeah so Mwape took a break disappeared for quite a long period of time <laughs> i think two or three months yeah then returned back so guys the fee that she had paid it wasn't the unlimited one so when she came back had to pay again so she paid and we started all over you know afresh <laughs> but even after starting all over she faced a challenge on Afro introductions. Yeah. She wasn't receiving any messages from any guy on Afro introductions. 
and when she told me about that i was like okay i am going to go out of my comfort zone to help this lady so i told her i am going to help you open up for introductions on my side you know <laughs> So I opened an Afro Introductions account here in Italy and I told her to log in. Yeah, she was able to log in, but same, same problem. Wasn't receiving any messages. <laughs> so I had to log in again and start sending messages, you know, on her behalf. But whenever she could log in in Zambia, couldn't see even the messages that I sent to guys. Oh my God. It was a very frustrating situation, guys. You know, as human beings, yes, it was very, very frustrating. But on good side, God was sending a message that, hey, the love of her life is not on Afro introductions. <laughs> You're only wasting your precious time. <laughs> so yes, eventually Mwape gave up completely on Afro introductions. And I kept on encouraging her that don't lose hope. I am praying for you. You will find the one. Keep trying. Keep putting yourself out there. So yes, she decided to join Facebook so that she can find love there. And I know if you're here watching this, you'll be like, Bella, with all these stories that we have heard, these coming stories of Facebook guys, no, I don't feel like, you know, going to Facebook to search for love. But, you know, you have to put yourself out there. You have to give it a try. And I am here to guide you. If you come across someone, you see red flags, he is a scammer, you block. But... You gave it a try you know <laughs> so i am going to be sharing with you the dating site on facebook that muape joined and found the one yes because she found him exactly on that facebook dating site so after joining that facebook dating site within few days yeah came across a profile of a British guy and decided to make that first approach. If you have been watching me, I've been telling you guys, when you are on online dating apps, don't wait to be phoned. Make that first approach. So Mwape listened to me and had to put that into practice. Sent that first message to Alan. Alan is the name of that British guy. So yes, when Alan got her message, was really, really happy, responded, and everything clicked <laughs> right on the spot. Mwape came to me to tell me, Bella, I found this British guy. His name is Alan. He's so good. She told me very good things, very sweet things about Alan. I was so happy, you know, over the moon for her. Because, you know, guys, when I'm here helping you out, I do this with all my heart, you know, as if it was me. <laughs> so when you succeed, oh, my God. <sighs> The happiness is on another level. So yes, guys, she kept on updating me about, you know, her relationship with Alan. But guys, there was one biggest challenge. And if I could say that I helped this lady, it was on this challenge, really. Because if I guided her badly or wrongly, then we couldn't have been here talking about her online dating success love story. No, guys. <laughs> yeah, but the situation is kind delicate, but I can't really disclose what it was all about. But to help you all, I am going to make a video, a separate video that is not connected to this to talk about such kind of a situation if you find yourself in it what to do and to be clear it's not about alan it's not about the red flags <laughs> not at all for someone who does not have enough experience could have thought it's a red flag because actually Mwape thought it was a red flag. It is about someone very close to Alan. That is why I'm telling you I cannot go so deep into this. But due to that, God has given me the wisdom. Due to that, I have got enough experience. I was able to guide her through 
the right way. I told her concentrate on Alan. Just see how Alan treats you. If this guy treats you good, if everything that you see in Alan is all you ever wanted in a man, go ahead. So she went ahead with her relationship and guess what? One evening, I received a DM on my Instagram of this white guy telling me how he's so happy to find this beautiful, loving Zambian woman on a dating app and he was thanking me for the fact that I was the one encouraged Mwape to make the first approach. <laughs> yes, dear friends, this British guy was super, super happy over the moon, so much in love. <laughs> and when I kept on reading his DM, I found out that he was talking about Mwape. <laughs> Oh my god, I was so happy I told Mwape, Mwape was over the moon. <laughs> she was happy and couldn't believe it that Alan wrote to me. Because <laughs> she had shared my YouTube channel with him, you know, everything about me. <laughs> and I told you, one of the things I've been observing, all these guys who approaches me after you sharing with them my YouTube channel or my Instagram account, always turn out to be the best yes because if a guy puts his face you know forward <laughs> into this to approach me to talk to me that means he is really serious if you remember Millie's fiance Ronald <laughs> he also approached me and we talked <laughs> So yes guys, after talking to Alan, then Mwape told me that Alan was planning to go to Zambia in November this year. And she told me about this, I think this was June or July, yeah, that is when she told me about their plans. So far, do you see anything off? No, I've told you, you are chatting with a guy, he should tell you when you guys are going to meet. He should tell you the month, the year, and the date. <laughs> so in June or July, Mwape knew the date that Alan will be going to Zambia. Because Alan is a serious guy, so let us learn to differentiate. You are chatting with a guy, you ask him, when are we meeting? He starts telling you, I don't know, I am not sure, we have got a big problem. So yes, guys, days kept on going and the relationship growing stronger. Yeah, because Mwape tells us or updated me that Alan has been spoiling her and was like, you know, being a widow, being a single mother, having two kids to take care of, pay for the university fee in India, it's not easy. But Alan has been there for her, you know, supporting her financially every single month without even her asking or reminding. Oh, wow. God is good. Sometimes, guys, when I think of God, I feel like crying due to the good things that he has been doing to my life and even to your lives, guys. So yeah, October this year came and Mwape wrote to me, was like, oh my God, I'm so excited. Alan will soon be here. And yes, November 26th came. <laughs> Mwape went to the airport to pick him. She was super, super happy, <laughs> you know, to meet him for that first time. He landed and then they saw each other at the airport. <laughs> hugged so tightly, kissed, oh my god, it was such a beautiful day, updated me on everything, even sent me the photos of the two of them at the airport, you know, I've been there for her in this journey, and I'm still here, <laughs> so yes guys, after the airport, they went home, and after reaching home, he had brought loads of gifts for Mwape, Mwape was super, super happy, and kept on thanking God. So, my beautiful ladies who always likes to hear the goodies. <laughs> I know that you are waiting to hear if Mwape shared her goodies or not. <laughs> 
Guys, Mwape is a strong Christian lady. So her Christian values does not allow her to share the goodies. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys to disappoint you, but it is what it is. <laughs> no goodies that were shared. And on Alan's side, I know right now you're like, Bella, so Alan accepted this, yes. Alan was okay with it because he has no hurry with the goodies. There are more serious things, you know, to talk about, to work on than thinking of the goodies. Because when they get married, they are going to be enjoying the goodies as much as they want. <laughs> So yes, guys, they stayed together, you know, enjoyed good times together. And something else that Mwape told me that really touched my heart is that she has got her own business. And oh my God, when God decides to bless you, he blesses you in a grand way. Because as Alan was in Zambia, he invested lots, lots of money in her business you know to support her ordered some machines from canada and china for her business yes and Mwape tells us was dreaming to have those machines in her business she really wanted them what does this teach us i told you if a guy really wants you if a guy sees future in you when he comes to visit, he will concentrate on the two of you. Get to know you. Get to know your life. Get to know your challenges. You have a business. Do you have any challenge maybe in your business? How do you do your business? All that. And maybe will offer to support your business. And maybe will offer to support you in the work that you do to make things easier for you because when you love someone you don't want to see them suffer and if you are blessed you are capable of helping you help this is what alan did alan may god bless you i don't know if you come across this video but if you come across it thank you so much for what you did thank you for what you are keeping on to do for our sister Mwape. So guys, apart from investing in her business, something else that he did was a surprise proposal. <laughs> yes, she was super, super happy and said yes. So as I'm talking right now, Mwape is Alan's fiance. Congratulations, my dear sister. I am very, very happy for you. Guys, let us wish them all the best. So after Alan spending very good time in Zambia with Mwape, had to return back to the UK. They were both sad, you know. <laughs> they said goodbyes, but their next step, is getting married next year may god keep on guiding you may god keep on blessing you so that you can achieve what you are planning to achieve so guys that was mwape's love story let me hope you enjoyed it and you learned a lot i will be coming with a detailed love story of mwape and alan after they get married which is next year because i know i'll have lots of things to update you on but before i end this video she gave you an advice and i'm going to be putting it here so that you all can get to read it and please please follow her advice because if you follow it you will eventually find love no matter how long it takes because i started working with mwape last year and now it has been a year i am telling her success love story so guys i cannot end this video without wishing you a happy merry christmas i know we are going to meet soon before the new year so i won't say happy new year yet <laughs> But enjoy your Christmas. Keep it in mind that God loves you and Bella is here to guide you through. So no matter what challenge you are going through on online dating apps, there is still hope. 
I love you so much, guys. May God bless you for keeping on supporting me for the love that you always show me. So like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have liked it, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too. They are super, super good. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Please, please, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. I love you so much, guys. You are always here in my heart. Merry Christmas to you all. Mwah. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>